Hello, everybody. Blah. No, I, I did the wrong thing. Where's my button? Ah, there's the button. All right. I wanted to tune down the music a little bit. <laughs> oh, press all the buttons. Welcome in, everybody. Today is Thursday. Normally, I would stream MacMorrie online. Yes, but I'm having a bit of a headache today. So I was like, you know what? Let's not play the first person shooter thing where uh, it's I'm getting stressed out. Let's play something chill. Let's play a little bit of Rogue Tech today. Um, MacWarrior Online will be coming back. And yes, just to get it out of the way, there's a new DLC for MacWarrior 5. Bora, why are you not playing it? Because I have a video scheduled for right after the stream that covers the first few missions. And I don't want to double content. It's just not enjoyable for me because I already know what's coming. So we're going to be playing some Rogue Tech, which is exciting and new. And you get the MacWarrior 5 Solaris stuff on the YouTube video stuff. Okay. So, I don't need two headaches. That's right. Exactly. So, did you change your donation music? It was scaring you so much? I did not. No, I forgot about it. I. We, we will see if that's doing the same thing again. Uh, I'm going to press all the buttons. You can't stop me. <laughs> Grandpa. Oh, wait, that's like... Yeah, it was text, right? <laughs> okay, guys. Far Berserker on the YouTube today. Hello. Welcome in. Scott is there. Victor is there. I see Mitchell. We have Thor. There's Knobi Van. Uncle Bulgaria. First one in chat today? I don't know. Reese. Welcome in. Elcom Soft. That's Twickerino. Lauren. Everybody's here. Easy as well. Uh, did you decide on posting other game content on YouTube? Yeah, that's the thing that we can quickly discuss while we are here. Hold up. Like, what did the polls say? Let me check that out real quick. Eh, eh? How do I even get there? From here. Hold up. Hold up. It's my community tab. Exactly. So, today earlier, uh, I was asking on the YouTubes what you think about me putting some other content on the channel. There's a bunch of rogue tech stuff that I'm very excited about. Uh, for example, Goblin Stone, which was just released. A little bit buggy, but I hope they fixed it a bit. Um, that's the thing that I'm very excited about. There is... Um, Oh, what was the name? Hold up. Hold up. There was a game, like a like a like a card builder, deck builder in space, which I found super interesting. But anyways, uh, I was asking the people, would you be fine with me dropping more content on that is not mech content on the YouTubes on my channel? And a lot of people said, yeah, go for it. That's about 80%. And 15% were like, meh, whatever. I'm gonna see about that. And only 7% said, no, please only mech content. That is uh, interesting. That is very interesting. So I, I need to read the comments as well, which I didn't do. I wanted to let it digest for a day so I can then go through it uh, in bulk. And it seems like we're going to see some other things on the channel quite soon. huh? More and more and is always more. And that's the point. It will be additional content. I'm going to keep my schedule up as much as I can with the Mac content, a daily Mac video, like every day, cycling through Rogue Tech um, or say Battletech modded, um, Mac Warrior 5 and Mac Warrior Online. And then I'm going to throw in a little bit of extras here. And also there, no guarantee that this will be a continued series. If I lose interest in the, in the new stuff, then I'm going to drop it again. Um, I got to see about that. But I'm very excited about some games and I was thinking, hey, you know what? I might play them with you. So... Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so here we are. We have lost our urban mech partly last time. That thing got obliterated. Uh, it was running three light rotary, ultra light rotary rifles, and uh, I think we lost one. So it's 19 days in the repairs. We have a hatchet man that is down uh, or done in one day, but we also gained something in the last. Actually, is that the right? This is where I want to be. Uh, we also gained something in the last episode, and that is a disco laser party truck. So I'm very excited about that thing on the battlefield today. We're going to wait for Hardcore. Braver is injured for 45 days. He was on that urban mech. Um, you want to see Cthulhu-based games too? Or oh, you like the, the Sunken City playthrough and, and the Cthulhu thing? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. In other words, if you are enjoying, I'm sure we will enjoy it as well. Yeah, I think this is kind of like the key in terms of watching other people play. We'll see. Hello, Gamer Kevin, and hello, Enif. Welcome in. Uh, all right, so I think we're going to take a look at what we can do. I feel like one skull is where we are comfortable, and we want to play for the Draconis combined. We want to make them our friends. We're going to force them to be our friends. We're already friendly. That's good. Well, let's like, liked. Friendly is the next one. All right. 
So I think we could do is just forego all of our payout here and just grind reputation like crazy. But I think that's something that will just happen naturally anyways. So what we're going to be doing now is a bit of salvage. A little bit of this and that. We got the Phoenix Hawk ready and this is our party truck, the Wrecker. Um, Hardcore was on the man. Party truck has no dedicated pilot yet. And we got Thorbjörn over here. Oh, we actually need to train some people. Oh, we wanted to get happy online. Yes, let's do it. Happy on the party truck. I mean, that is a love marriage in terms of names, right? We have happy on the party truck. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, we are one and a half. A little bit over. But we're gonna get it done. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, this guy is cool because he also has the uh, VTOL specialty. And we want to train him so that if we find a VTOL, we have somebody who is able to run those things. Hello, Steel Shark. Welcome in. Happy will shoot all the disco lasers. Yes, and he will be giggling while he's doing it. <laughs> I can't imagine this guy in the cockpit just pulling all the levers, pushing all the buttons, turn, turning and twisting all of these knobs. It's just not minding. Like, loud party music in the background, shades on, and just having a good time there. Kevin will be listening while on your drive home, getting ready to leave work. All right. I try to explain as much as possible what's going on. So you get an idea. I'm going to be the sports narrator here. He's a weaponized DJ. Oh, I like that idea. Oh, yes. It's a nice, uh, like, uh, mental image. <laughs> Blinded by the light. Whoop, whoop. What's going on with you guys? I saw a meme that reminded me of you the other day. It made me chuckle. Wait, are you talking about... Okay, it's your conversation. Doesn't, doesn't have to do with me. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't know if we can find another mech today. Um, I kind of hope so, because I think te technically we have six slots. Four of them reserved for mechs. But there are two more slots that we can use with uh, vehicles and or battle armor. So technically we could run six units already, if I am not mistaken. What we need is more units. All right, here we go. Got the garrison, we got the base, we got turrets, we got high ground. Yeah, we kind of have it. Also dust storm. Hey, little gunner, what are my, thought what are my thoughts on the new DLC on Mac Warrior 5? Cannot really tell you yet. I just played the first few missions and honestly so far I like it. I like the whole style. I like the gist of it. Um, I mean it's like a like a mini story campaign that you can play through like the others before like Kestrel Lancers and uh, whatnot. Um, what was the other one that had a mini campaign? Lancers and what was the one after? See I cannot even remember. But yeah we have this kind of like encapsulated um, thing and it's cool so far. I will do a voice pack when? Don't, don't, don't ask. Don't ask. It's a thing very low on my priority right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rise of Wrestlehag. Yeah. Wrestlehag. Hag. Dragon's Gambit. Same thing. Yeah. Alright. Bunch of vehicles. Bunch of turrets. We have a bee that is very deep into the enemy's territory. Alright. Okay. Some tunnel rats. Enemy have a rocket turret. That's dangerous. And a light turret. Also with probably rockets. And uh, another one. Alright. This is dangerous. We should probably stay away for a while. Stay away for a while and listen. Let's get in here. Ah, by the way. um, Yeah, I'm gonna go with an active ECM approach here. The weather says dust storm. We have... Ooh, 85% of our heat management only. Visibility is reduced to 60%. Everybody gets two evasion. And we take more stability damage. Holy crap. Oh my god. That is the worst. In the latest patch, the modders have added the, the BJJB, which is the Blackjack Jack Black. What does it do other than rock hard? You know what? We're gonna give it a turn here. 
I think I want to make use of my EWS ping, so we're going to wait for turn 13 to get the striker maybe a little bit closer to us. Yes, perfect. That's going to be it. Did you see one? Read the description. All right. I'm currently playing vanilla, though, because, you know... What is it already? The new... The new DLC wants to be played as is. On my way, Commander. There's a gifted sub coming from Doggy. Thank you very much, Doggy. That is very nice of you. Giving it to Little Gunner 9. And we also got Big Tony in the house with the tier Rob 1 sub. Rob here. Uh, thanks, man. That is very nice of you. And we also got a membership. We have Jay Reed. I hope I got your name right. Thank you for the membership on the YouTubes. Man, that's a triple. Thank you. So, here is my Dervish. My Dervish is able to actually sense or ping, and I will because the striker is stealthed. Spartacus! In the house here. Thank you for the five. Appreciate it. So, he's now a sensor locked. The party truck is actually quite mobile. Zip. Move it in. And it seems to have some. Wait, purple is a uh, command aura, right? Purple circle. So we have that going. Spawn protection removed. Yeah, it's the pilot command aura. Good. So, now it's on. I'm going directly into the fight here. The striker is completely exposed, has no evasion, is um, stealth countered, and we have our Phoenix Arc to fire. Not a kill, that thing has armor. Yeah, the Phoenix Arc is not great in terms of damage output. We need bigger weapons, definitely, on this guy. Is it already? This is the Ultra Auto Cannon 10, which might get it done on the Skulker. Not a Striker, a Skulker. Yeah, that settles it. Take that, bastard. F first enemy down. That's the Striker. So we got an LRM 10 and a Quad SRM 2 set up on this guy. Our B is going in. LRM-15, large pulse, massive hits on the rocket turret. I love it. Doki, thank you for the biddies. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uncle Bulgaria says, It is a Phoenix Hawk. Its specialty is being underwhelming. Yes, you are not wrong there. But compared to a stock Phoenix Hawk, we have very little firepower. The stock, at the very least, has a large laser, usually. Which we are lacking. All right, bit of damage on the dervish. Let's go. Hey, Jane. Welcome, dude. Wait, what? No cup? Where did the cup go? Why is the cup gone? Oh, there it is. It's on the wrong side, though. Hold up. Doggy, this one is for you. Whoop. Whoop. There it is. Okay. And just to make a point here. Give me a sec. Ah, I cannot click it again. No, I wanted to to do it again, but my tool is completely broken right now. I cannot like rewind this. All right, there you go, doggy. Okay, uh, we got LRMs. Oh yes, right. Our dervish is now full long range. Mm, yeah, because we didn't have enough SRMs to slap on the Mac, but we can take the rocket turret away. Kablam. And down he goes. Very nice. Alright. Happy on the Disco Boy. We can actually try to strike the striker. Mm, but you know what? I believe 7 evasion staying within the team cohesion with our pilot command aura is good. And we can shoot the Disco Laser at the Ultra Auto Cannon turret. Now that is what I call damage. Instant kill. What? We need those disco lasers on the Phoenix Hawk, man. That is insane. Holy macaroni. Ha! Huh. Huh. Alright, here we go. Alright, some mortar shenanigans. New quirk for happy. The one bang. Ooh, not filling the cup. What? Oh, uh, it seems to be broken. Hold up, doggy. We're gonna fix that. Give me a sec. 
Give me a second. I'm gonna quickly log in to the Streamlabs thingy. It might be Borkin. If so, I'm sorry. Huh? 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 It's Borkin. It's Borkin. One sec. Got you in a sec. Okay. One more try here. Okay. Almost there. So I'm going to quickly switch the scene. Go over here. Go over there. So the jar is now filling again. And if I click this button, would it work? I guess. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, I don't want this to be like a tech fix stream. I'm sorry. So we have battle armor down here. Uh, which I'm definitely getting too close already. <laughs> um, yeah, that was probably not a good idea. Are they gonna jump onto me? Let me see. Maybe we can do something with our auto cannons. We'll try. Double miss. Double miss. Okay. I think the moment I activated the jar, the whole announcer thing got broken. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go ahead and take this turret because I also believe it is dangerous. It's definitely a rocket turret, right? Or it has been. Is this meta gaming? What do you mean? Oh, here comes the bee. Going for a kick on the battle armor. That's pretty cool. That's first of all a unit down. It's three units down. Wow. Uh, and also, we wouldn't have the problems because the battle armor would most likely go for the other guy now. Hmm. Curious. Yeah, we have a good chance. So the dis disco lasers also act as a small pulse, which means it's really good against battle armor. <laughs> get wrecked <laughs> oh my god that's great I like it let me turn off the jar again because I think it breaks things here alright but I appreciate it doggy alright the bolt on AMS is doing overtime because of the strikers SRMs holy crap um yeah I don't Control. think that the hatchet man is gonna particularly get any hatchet situations here. Ah, oh, he has DNI on. I know, I know, I know, I know. But hey, striker is a good target for us. More than the turrets or anything. That'll be no good attack. In we go with the disco. No, 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 no. With the small pulse. And the mag shots. Dudes, strikers are sturdy. So my long range is going to take care of the turrets. Um, we can even shoot the medium lasers now. What exactly are LRM5 quick sell? What's the deal with them? Are you going to help? Very good. Very good. This works. So the only thing that we need to do now is actually destroying... Oh no! The striker. Damn it, I hope my party truck could take him down before he gets another barrage out. Uh, it's not a good hit chance here, right? It is enough in the end. Man, the Phoenix Arc. <laughs> yes. It's getting damaged. Alright, guys, we have to destroy three of these buildings. Not gonna be a hard task for us, because we got damage under our belt. 70 damage left. Mm hmm So there we go. Phoenix Hawk. Get some damage in. Uh, this is a no-brainer. 
we're gonna just shoot whatever we can here. Right, one down, two to go. I do like that we have a ping capability already. Since we don't have the sensor locks uh, yet, the pilot sensor locks, this is a really good thing to have. Because stealth early on just breaks you. You cannot hit anything. Melee is kind of the only option and oh, even that is kind of bad. So, the, I think, it's not an active prop, is it? That we're running? Is it a sheath beacon? But it's good. Alright. That is the first mission. That was kind of easy. So, what exactly was that? One and a half skull? No, one skull. We were one and a half. So, I guess we could push it a little bit. No salvage. Um, yeah, to be honest, the salvage was kind of garbage here. We might want to take the striker. Striker is not too bad. Just having another unit on the battlefield is great. Skulker is nuh. Got six total. Six priority, 27 total, sorry. This way around. It's a 35 ton tank with decent decent damage output, decent movement. Armor is not the greatest, but it's alright. Clan chemical laser, however. For half a ton, we get 25 damage output at six heat. That's only one. In Ultra Auto Cannon 2. For 7 tons, we get 50 damage at a massive amount of range. Not bad. Everything else is kind of garbage. Yeah. Alright, so we have a bunch of things that we can take. Striker, 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 striker. Then... I have no ammo for the Ultra Auto Cannon, though. Let's take the medium chemical laser. Maybe we find more of these chemical things and then we can get something done with that. Alright, and you know what? I believe we're gonna take everything else as well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Except for two parts. An LRM-10 and the fire control system is left. Oh man. Alright. Um, We have... What do we drop, even? I think the SRMs can go. Strix? Too heavy. I don't like them too much. Regular armor can stay for the moment. Uh, the engine can also stay for the moment. We might want to put that in the urban mech. Heat sinks. We have 33. Get out of here. Sensor basic. Eh. Gonna keep that. Regular structure. Okay. Alright. At the very least, it was a quick mission. And we didn't take too much damage. That's good. I get everything anyway. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But chemical lasers need ammo, negating the weight advantage. But they don't need that much heat management. Also benefiting from weight. Or, you know, you need to get heat sinks to fuel regular energy weapons. This is kind of like the ammunition that I, I consider there. So therefore, I think they're good middle ground weapons. But I don't think that taking one chemical laser and one bin of ammo is good enough. I think if you want to make use of all that ammo, you better have multiples. Five days for the repair. Okay. Can manage. You know what? We put Irby to the front. We have a ship upgrade going. That's good. Sure. Alright. As soon as we're ready, which is now, we're gonna dive in once more. So again, we want to play for the Draconis combined. Therefore, it's the Blackout and it's the... It's another Destroy Base mission. I think Two Skull is fine. We can do that. And yes, I will take all the salvage still. Because we are lacking units. Left and right. In we go, guys. We're gonna try to play as many missions as possible today. No downtime. Just missions. Now, I believe there will be some, some building time later. Ah... <sighs> But yeah, I'm actually excited about the, the DLC and how it will unfold. Um, there was actually a quite interesting cutscene, but you will see it later. Or maybe you've seen it already on another streamer, another content creator. Um, this is all about Solaris. And there's obviously like a makeshift like plot hook, a campaign built around that. But I cannot wait to get into the arena. The only thing that I kind of feel bad about is that 
the Von Biomes creator. Uh, name is Von Seiten. That's how he goes on the internet. Uh, he just created a mod for Solaris, and now PGI is putting out their version of it. It's kind of like conflicting. It's like different things. Uh, feel bad for him a little bit. Is it Monday already? No! No, it's Thursday, but I'm having a headache, so therefore no MacWarrior Online, and therefore Rogue Tech. It's a bit slower paced. So we didn't get any of these interesting um, LRM5s there. And honestly, at some point I want to make a quick sell LRM build work, because these weapons are extremely light, but they have such a low accuracy, which makes them excellent mine layers. You know, you can just put so many of them into your mech and they scatter a lot, so we have like the biggest minefield ever. By volume of fire, you also put many mines in the same spot, so there's a high trigger chance. I, I like that. I want to do that at some point. Garrison and base. And we have the high ground. Let's go for it. Nosfats, thank you for the 100 bits, although it's not announced. It's not working right now. I can I can try to do another thing real quick. Hold up. I'm still here. Just turning it off and on again, maybe. Double Ma, thank you for the 56 months. <laughs> thank you so much. Weekend is incoming. Yeah, I, I cannot wait for it, honestly. I'm very excited because uh, tomorrow a friend and mine, we're gonna have some like board game nights. Uh, it's gonna be amazing and um, on Saturday I'm gonna play Call of Cthulhu with some friends. And I actually get to be a player for once. And let's go. Light rocket carrier! Um... Um... Well... Can I go back, please? Oh boy. Who are you? Buster Hauler, 50 ton. Light rifle, medium rifle, medium rifle, medium laser. Ouchie. Standard MML turret. Oh. And an arrow turret? Are you kidding me? What? What? Alright, how many rockets do you have? The answer is all of them. What do you want? <laughs> no. <laughs> We need to somehow get this guy down before he gets us down. Oh my freaking god. Hmm. Alright. Rip Phoenix. I'm gonna brace here. Oh, he's coming closer already. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that I can hope for is... Uh, let me think. That we have higher initiative. Maybe. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Comes to Buster Hauler. I mean, the rifle setup is also pretty nasty. All right. What do you want? So we got the initiative. We can only charge here, but what if I put on my? Oh wait, my supercharger doesn't help with that. It's only sprint speed that we gain. So it's good to get into position initially. Yeah, I'll take it anyways. We get ten evasion here. Thank you, VR Pod. Let's get eight. On my way, Commander. Be in the flank and shoot and hope. Oh, oh my god. Oh, so good. That, <laughs> we needed that. I'll try to get the tanks out of the way first. Heavy rifle is nothing to sneeze at. Okay. So you can just move, I guess. Hmm. I don't know if we can actually get into our desired range easily. Let's get down here. I think that's good. Alright, I'm gonna drop the chaff. Just in case we don't kill, we can at the very least scramble his sensors a little bit. Is it too early, game, to ask what you think of the new Rogue Tech update? There is a new thing that I just realized. Um, they changed the whole indirect fire artillery stuff. Now it takes basically two turns and you set templates somewhere. Uh, you cannot really instantly shoot these guys anymore. However, the self-knockdown chance has been reworked, it seems. I stumbled upon a stability gyro today, which said, when firing heavy weapons, you reduce the stability damage you take while doing so by 20, which leads me to think that you don't have a flat knockdown chance anymore, but you just get a lot of self-stability as a result. Which is super duper interesting when you think about it, because 
um, with these stability thresholds, you can you can juggle that a little bit more. I do like that. It's not like a gamble that you take. It's something that you can actually um, that you can actually manage and say, you know what? I'm gonna accept 60 stability damage now just to get the shot out. And here's the thing. There are some um, equipments that allow you to shoot and then move afterwards. So, I don't know if it's still possible to... No, wait, you cannot shoot and brace. That's not possible. You can only move afterwards. Never mind. I didn't say anything. Get seven evasion and go. So yeah, that's cool. I like that. I mean, advanced optics got nerfed. But at the same time, it makes sense. I really think that advanced optic was too OP. And now it competes with other specialist slots, which are getting buffed as a result. Because normally you would just go advanced optics mark 3 and I don't know, exchanger. I think that was a very good combination that is now not always the answer. So here's what it is. We have an arrow coming down here. And I think they got a direct hit on me, right? Is that not is that popped on our our dervish? What happens if we move? I wonder if it's going with us. What do you want? Alright. Supercharger. Nah, we don't we don't do anything yet. We're gonna reserve this. Holding. I want the Buster Hauler to do a thing first. Alright, now we can go. Ah, so it is not focused down on our mech. It is an actual template that will come down. That's good to know. Let's go. Only two damage per missile. Hmm. It's not what I was hoping for. Uh, yeah, let's shoot the turret, I guess. Okay. The Disco Boy is coming in. Providing the command aura. So four damage per... Or ten damage per Disco Laser. I mean, that's no question, right? Turret down. I love it. I love that thing. Ah, you can also see the origin of the shot. So the arrow whoop, is firing down here. Yes. Turn off the charger. Let's roll. Gonna get down here and try to get down the arrow turret. Okay. Arrow should be firing now. Yes. It is a minefield drop. I mean, it's pretty good for us. We don't necessarily have to go anywhere. Arrow fast calm times 25. How much damage would we take? You know what? I'm playing tower defense with my missiles. Here we go. I'm not gonna move anymore. We got LRMs. We can fire wherever we want. Let's go. If you're tagged or getting knocked, Artie should follow the unit. What do you want? S true, yeah. I believe that's uh, what I also read. I'll take the back strike here. On my way, Commander. Alpha strike engaged. Ah. Close, 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 close. Phoenix Hawk has no good target right now. Happy. Happy is not fast enough to get behind the Buster Hauler. So we hold. Let him come to me. That's a bit of damage, but only a bit. Okay. Um, now we go in and we're gonna see what we can do here. The max shots are at 12 damage. <sighs> you know what? I think this is a good melee target. I don't think I'm gonna attack it anymore with any firepower. See if our hatchet man can solve that problem. Disco laser. And another turret down. It's so good. It's so good. All right. Yet again, good hit chance. But we can also hit the dual gun in the back. All right. Yes. Can we? It's only a charge. Should I? It would hurt our own mech. Eh, I don't like it. 
I don't like it. Jumping behind is also not an option. So we give it another turn. Maybe he's coming a little bit closer. Not really. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Um. Hmm, this is funny. Eh, whatever. Let's roll. Whatever. Shoot him. I really want to use my hatchet. That's what I'm here for. Good hit there. Okay, he is unsteady. We're gonna bring in the tank, but I will not shoot him. No, I will attack the buildings. Oh, that's actually my Phoenix Hawk, not the, not the disco truck. I'm here for a melee attack. Now we'll get it. Zip. Another one down. Remember to kill the turrets first, is what he says. I mean, I will destroy them. Right now. Turrets are down now. That was the last of them. So, now we just need to get hardcore in here. What do you want? Get a punch. No, not a punch. It's a physical attack. Uh, let's go in from behind. Moving. Might be a mistake. Take this. It's not blowing up completely. Oh, when we took the claw arm away. <laughs> also, he has an excavator shovel. What? All right, that's gonna be interesting to salvage. Okie dokie. So we're gonna stand and shoot here. Again, don't wanna run through the mines. I think we got it. Only thing left is the military building. And you know what? Happy is gonna be very happy to get it down. Fixed item, you say? Yeah, maybe we can get something like industrial TSM or something. Okay. Area has been cleared. Successful. That was a two skull. I was actually expecting a bit more resistance from these guys. And yes, the rocket tank was clutch. It had damage. And they had an arrow turret, so... Th there was some value here. Or some danger. But we kind of managed it quite quickly. Mines are nasty. Just ten minutes ago, I ran into one of those little puny light fast cam carriers. I thought, good, another harmless enemy. Oh boy. The minefields from just three mortars... Four were insane, so they buffed mines again. I, I really hope so, because in the last patch, in the last season, they were kind of meh. Chariot is not bad. It's very mobile. It's kind of primitive, though. I wonder what kind of fire control system he's rocking. It's probably not really accurate. So this guy, the rocket carrier, had two mine dispenser 15, one MRM 20, Two heavy rocket launcher 10, two AOE rocket 10, and one rocket pack 20. Pack means like five shots or so. <laughs> I can take an arrow. <laughs> oh, hey, here, here's the thing. Uh, this is a great opportunity to take a look at this thing. Uh, let me see. We have... Artillery mode. Can fire at any hex in range. Negative five accuracy. Cannot hit units directly. Flag mode. Into the sky. Yep. Direct fire mode. Negative four accuracy. May only fire at ground units. Okay. Weapon has a recall of one in direct mode. Mm -mm -mm, minimum range and so on. Recoil changed based on your evasion. Accuracy based on your evasion. There it is. 25 stability damage to self when fired in direct and flak mode. Reduced by piloting and unit tonnage. Further reduced by a negative 100%. Or negative 100, not percent. If braced during the prior round. Moving before firing cancels the reduction. So, what is the, uh, the stability that you get when firing in artillery mode then? None? But you have to wait a turn, that's the drawback. In direct fire mode, you may be getting it out directly? I do like the idea of that. I think that's good. So we got a mine dispenser here. Let me quickly check the mines. Uh, carries internal ammo, blah blah. Install two mines within six meters. Yes, 44% chance to trigger. It's not bad. It deals uh, three primary damage and one AoE damage in the 30 meters radius. There's a not available percent. Mm. 
There's a number missing. We could try that. It's a one-ton item and we have two of these. Put them into any support slot and we're good. I do like the MRM though. Rocket pack. There's another ultralight rotary rifle. We need that for Irby. Let's go. Irby's coming back. Missile accuracy. Plus two with direct firing missile attacks. Yes. All right. That was good. Good regular structure. Uh, what do you need again? Medium rifle ammo? Periphery rifle. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we could take Thunderbolt ammo. We have a Thunderbolt launcher. There's another T-Bolt 10. Wait, don't we have one? We might have gotten rid of it. Hmm. That's a bit weird. Also, we didn't get the ammo for the Light Ultra. Ultra Light Rotary. Periphery Rifle Ammo. But that doesn't work. Medium Rifle. Light Rifle Sabot. Who was running a Light Rifle? I'm not sure. Maybe the Dual Tower? The Dual Rifle Tower? Alright, so that being said, uh, I'm not against the MRM-20. Oh yeah, there's a Light Rifle, a Medium Rifle and a Heavy Rifle. Okay, gotcha. With the MRM, we probably want to get the MRM ammo as well. Kinetic kill is uh, pretty good. It's pretty good long range stuff. We have two more picks, that's the thing. Maybe the Dream of the Thunderbolt 10 is coming back. But I'm actually quite interested. Quite interested in the mines. I want to test them, but I don't want to pick them. I hope that we get them randomly. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna take the kinetic kill for the T-Bolt. And that's gonna be it. Here we go. We got the mines. That's pretty good. The heavy rocket launchers. How much damage do we do with that? 124 ton. Eh. Ah. Rocket pack 20. Five salvos. Ooh, but it's heavy. It's really heavy. We get the, the fusion cores as well. So that's nice. Let's sell this one. Primitive can go, single heat sink cooling can go, structure can go. We're gonna keep the ammo around. It's not gonna cost us that much in terms of upkeep. It's gonna be alright. Thunderbolts are not early game weapons. I know. I think that's also why I got rid of my initial Thunderbolt that I found at some point. But I think it's gonna be good. Okay. The Rocket Pack 20 is great with TSM on a 55 ton mech. Why do you think of this combination with like TSM and so on? <laughs> the Thunderbolt 30 is an all game weapon. I've never gotten to make this thing work. Never. It's just too much recoil, too much heat and too much everything. But it's probably because I wanted to run it in a double and tandem. And it was just too much for my pilot. It was just so much. Maybe a single. Thunderbolt 30 is a thing. I mean, we can stack on stuff for it. I need a Crusader. <laughs> oh, the dream of the Crusader. I always want one in the mid game, but I never find one. Only in the very late. And then it's too late for a Crusader. Okay, good. So we have this mine dispenser now. Let me think. I actually want this. Mm, we want to wait two days. Mag bay number three. That is huge. All right, let's get this going. So our third mag bay runs at 100% efficiency. Also two extra tech points. Here we go, guys. Now we can work on three at the same time. Uh, is there any mech that has two hard points? Two support hard points? No. So I guess we're going to only run run one of these dispensers, but I, I want them, so... I guess we put them in here. I drop a heatsink. We're still running singles. Oh god. Yeah, this is why we might have a light engine upgrade, but 
Single heats in cooling makes this thing very unreliable with like bigger energy weapons and stuff. Ugh, this, is a, this is a problem. However, we have two ballistics, which we could totally run. So something like two AC5s could possibly work on this guy. But that's besides the point. I wanted to run, not a chainsaw, the mine dispenser right here. In the face. We're going to stare the enemies down with minefields. We got a mortar four here. I'm checking my options real quick. Got a clan ultra 10, but no ammo for it, huh? Yeah. Hold up. That thing needs clan ammo. No, it does not need clan ammo. It says uses ultra auto cannon 10 ammo. Where? Uh, I have a pair of AC2s, that's right. Yeah, but it's only 25 damage. It doesn't solve our damage output problem. We have more damage output with these small pulses and the mag shots. It, it's just... It, oh, AC2s are meh. Unless you boat them, and this guy doesn't have the weight to work with. Um... However... We could... I don't know if we can bring this... It's not gonna work. It's, it's not gonna work. We cannot bring the Ultra 10 there. So we have Endosteel. There's Pharaoh. Pharaoh gives us one and a half tons. But then we are done with the slots. Hold up. Just to check it real quick. Just to check it. If we drop the Beagle as well, could we? Could we go... This? Nah, not even. Not even. It's not working. I guess we can drop some jump chats, but also not really. This guy is not made for big ballistics. It's heresy. Yes, it is. It's not. It's not working. Okay, so quickly bring that back. Zip. I'm um, gonna drop the heatsink and replace it with the mine dispenser. However, a thing that we can do is the following. I'm gonna take a look at the hatchet man here. Hatchet man. Hatchet man. So that's an Ultra Auto Cannon 10 for 13 tons and 120 damage. Uh, this is 10 tons for 120 damage at 720 meters. It's the same. 3 recoil. Yes. 20% jam chance. Yes. It's the same. But 3 tons lighter, guys. We're gonna save 3 tons. And slots. Ah, come on. It is so much better. Okay. It's clan space magic. Correct. I wish I had a bigger engine, by the way. 250 is possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, give, that gives us more mobility, correct? It's 5 and 8 compared to... 5 and 7. We'd only gain sprint speed. Eh. Weird. We don't have a mask, do we? We have claws, but they are not helping. Nope. So 225 is basically the same. Unless we get more jump jet uh, opportunities here. We're still at 5. Nope. So then we don't have to change things big time. What I do want is another laser. So we have a bit more damage output while we are running frantically towards the enemy. Part of me also wants to get another double heatsink in there. Maybe we drop the light pharaoh. It only helps us with half a ton. Open up some slots here, huh? We can also bring... No, we cannot bring the laser cutter. It's one and a half tons. Sadly. What do you think? Drop the pharaoh? I think it's worth... I think I'm gonna armor up as well, so we are kind of like in a one extra ton scenario. Get another double in here. It's fine. We gained a laser and better heat management. That's good. Okay, so we have the six days. There we go. Oh yeah, it also reduces our repair time because we have now standard armor instead of the fancy one. That's true. So, four days on the hatchet man. Eh. Yeah, it's a bit longer than needed. But hey, we still have three days. 
There's an argument for waiting now while we play the blackout, but then I think we're gonna go for the two skull. Okay, before we do that, we'll check the barracks. So, my friend. I actually want him to have a bit more gunnery, so he is actually firing a bit better. But I also want Juggernaut. So we go Juggernaut and then we go gunnery. Nice. Happy? Oh yes, let's go. So what is your deal? Command experience. Dependable military spacer technician. It's kind of a hmm, gamble on what would be interesting here. But if he is our dedicated uh, VTOL and tank guy, I think escapist is absolutely fantastic here. The max evasion on flying units is crucial. Ah, all right. <laughs> Uh, we, we're gonna go there. We, we get there. Monster. Uh, actually, uh, I hate no sensors, so we go tactics first. Thorbjorn. Sight and sensor is not bad, but cautious is also pretty good. Removing one, one bar of stability when reserving is absolutely fantastic. I want to go this route this time. Route? Route? How do you say it? And while we're here, we're going to get some piloting. Why not? Have you already said hi to Duncan Fisher? Yes, the video is scheduled for right after the stream. Uh, I have an hour of MacWarrior 5 for you guys. Okay, there's Zed. Mm, what's a leaguer? He's just from the Free Worlds League. Gotcha. So he's military for recall reduction. I think we need somebody with focus fire. Might be him. And you are the man for the lambs later. That means you also want that escapist piloting situation going. Okay. Guys, I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. We're gonna take the other two skull mission that is available here. We got money. That's kind of crazy. That means... Oh, we can go for... Ah. Uh, it's difficult. Actually. Because every pick that we make is 320,000 sea bills. Every time we do this, 320,000. This is tough. This might be the way to go here. Kind of middle ground. Or maybe even this. Because that's a great that's a great jump from 0 out of 3 to 2 out of 8. Oh, I'm gonna hate myself for that. But let's get money. Let's get money, boys. So, here we are. I'm uh, ready to deploy, question mark? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You need to salvage, especially on the blackout. Um, why especially on a blackout? <laughs> is this an AI host? Where's Baradul? Ah, uh, why is he taking C bills? Imposter. <laughs> hey, Captain Thick. Hope all is well today. Honestly, no. Honestly, no. Um, my, my son is having trouble in school with his friends. And that kind of puts me in a very bad headspace right now. He's getting excluded. There's like a... There's a bit of mobbing going on. And his circle of friends is... Uh, it's kind of split now. And he's getting excluded from like playtime activities. And he's very, very sad about it. And I, I as a parent, I have to now intervene. My wife and I were already, you know, putting up messages to the other parents. So there will be an intervention. And oh, I hate that. I really hate that. It breaks my heart if I see my son like that. Really trying to play with his friends, but no, none of them want to play with him. They say like, no, they cannot play today. And then it turns out they met uh, secretly without him. That's bad. That's really bad. And I feel for him so much. And again, it's... I'm kind of rattled because of it. And, and not only because I feel more for my son, but also because we have to deal with that. It's so annoying. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Little Barra is the inner sphere, then with clan friends? Online. What do you mean? What do you mean, man? All systems nominal. Man, it's a, it's a thing that's happening right now. Kids can be dicks. Yeah, 
I think there is one kid especially who is kind of trying to drive a wedge between him and the others. It's a it's a girl that came into the circle of friends um, like about a year ago or so. And she was really nice early on and now she doesn't like my son anymore. So she... I, I, man, they are 10 years old, not even. And there's so much intrigue going on in, in that kind of little cluster of five little people. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Oh. Okay, so we are here. We are alone. All by ourselves. Oh. Let's get in there. Too young for bros before hoes. I cannot say anything. Uh, in motion, how to say it? I mean, again, they're kids. They don't really know how to like solve these kind of problems. They are prone to manipulation and so on. But you're not wrong there. That's what I want to say. Cobalt feel you experiencing exactly the same with Armor Boy. I, I, man, really, I, I feel for you then. Yeah, they are, they are options. We are the adults here, so we can clear things up. And if they don't clear up, then we're gonna find other options. Actually, my my long range mech should probably stay behind a little bit. Uh, melee mech go in. In motion, commander. Disco truck. Let's go. How's my wife with these things? Um, she has a cool cooler head than I have. About that, and she's taking matters into her hands mostly. So she was the one arranging the the whole like speak with the other parents stuff. Uh, and tomorrow there will be um, a, baza a bazaar, like a, you know, meeting where, you know, the people are, like, the school is selling stuff that the kids crafted to gather some money, like a fundraiser, basically, uh, at school. A lot of uh, parents are helping. She's going to go there tomorrow. She's going to speak with the other parents. So I, I hope it's getting, it's getting solved. Yeah. Kirk says, when I was, like, eight, my brother taught me how to use a joke as a method of changing conversation. Trick helped me to escape countless drama. The thing is, my son is not um, without blame here because um, he has um, he's sometimes very impulsive, and sometimes when it's not going his way, he can be rude. He can be rude, so he's getting loud, and um, if it doesn't work out what he has in his mind, um, he then cannot really express his feelings and at some point he disengages from the whole situation and, and, and just um, extracts himself. And that's obviously not a thing that like kids can manage well. When the other kids are like, wait, we have this guy who has an outburst right now and he's going, they're like, okay, cool, he's gone, we're fine, we're gonna play our thing and he can do whatever he wants. But he's the lonely guy sitting there not being understood by his friends and this is kind of like a thing that we have to solve somehow. Uh, there's a lot of parenting work on our end as well. Um, with our son. Good. So we got a Cloudbuster. We got a Royal Nightshade with cool quad missiles. And a large pulse laser. And a tag. Okay. Star Slayer. Nasty. Double snuff. Streak 2. Double medium pulse. And a small laser. Anything else? No. The turrets are ours. That's good. Actually, there's another guy. Panther. So this is just set up, right? All right, we put the party truck to the side. Let's do that. What is it already? Uh huh. I really want to hit you. So, wait, actually, who do I want to hit? I want to go for the Star Slayer. Jets activated. Deny on, by the way. Let's go. Was it a thunderbolt or an arrow? No, it was a large pulse laser of the thunderbolt manufacturer. You go back here, Mr. Dervish. You can actually ping that. I don't know if it's gonna help a lot. Combat sports work wonders for anger management. Never too late to start with Muay Thai. We wanted to get him there. There's actual... Um, there's a Kung Fu class here. Um, but he was very reluctant. Oh boy. Oh no. Can we not? Please, thank you. So where to put the Phoenix Orc now, huh? He wants to disengage from that. Hmm. 
Ay, 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 ay. I think a jump is in order. Eh. Eh. Eh, let's go over here. Okay, so... Let me try to get something done. Pew, pew, pew. Not open them up. Hello, Smoke Jaguar. Good evening. <laughs> Make the children fight duels in Solaris. That's how it works. Yes, pit them against each other with mechs and weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> yeah. Gamer says, uh, I'm dealing with my youngest with the same kind of issue as far as when he doesn't have things go the way he likes. He goes and gets upset and negatively tries to gain attention. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, most of the time it's not being, uh, it's not about being a brat, it's something that he has that mental image. He wants the things to go a certain way. That doesn't have to be like a selfish idea, but th there's that like fixed mental image that it, it should work out like that if I just put my mind to it and then it just doesn't work. Same with, uh, he's currently in a, he has the origami fever. He is crafting paper things. Our whole house is full of like dragons and butterflies and, and swans and cranes and holy crap. Uh, he's totally in it. Uh, and then he, he watches a YouTube video and he's trying to follow the instructions and then it doesn't work out the way it should. And he's throwing everything away. It's that he is so focused on what it's supposed to be and then it the reality is something different and then he's like yeah no not acceptable and i don't know where it comes from it seems like he has very high standards for himself we were trying to not impose that on him it's a teaching moment certainly certainly and again we will get there it's just a thing that is just nice shot he didn't even get to act Oh, nice to be sometimes the perfectionist. I mean... I mean, yes. again, I try to actively not teach him it, uh, this whole thing. <laughs> you might still get it. Give me my physical weapon attack, let's go! Take this! Hey, Spider! Kablam! <laughs> Thank you for the seven months. Appreciate it. The announcer seems to work again, so that's cool. I like that. Thank you. Did I miss anything? Davuma resubbed earlier. And Nosfads. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good. Looking all right. So what do we have here? A UAV? Do I care about it? Mm, no. I do not. I think I'd rather move over here and finish the Panther. Big explosions! Everything takes practice. No artist becomes a master overnight. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lesson. That we are trying, as a family, we are trying really hard to teach our son. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> oh, man. The thing is, he's really smart. Uh, and uh, again, he, uh, he thinks that he can solve everything with his head and then his own skills are interfering with his idea of how things should work. And then sometimes other people that you cannot control. How dare you? Okay. Eh? We got him. Does sound like a lot he has ADHD? Yes. Yes. Yeah. We, we had a test recently. Um, Doc said he's on the spectrum. He's not like like full into it, so he doesn't need medication. But he's like, yeah, he has strong pointers towards ADHD. Uh, and um, yeah, he gave us some, some things, um, like some um, advice how to like manage that. So yeah, you're right. What do you want? You're absolutely right. Moving. Okay, first base done. The right arm of our... No, the left arm of our Phoenix Orc still open. ASD? Uh, autism? Is that it? 
Let's just get up. I think we want to keep the Phoenix Hawk in the back and then just jump in when the time is right. Keep him safe for the moment. There's no need to lose any weapon systems. I don't want to replace anything. Okay, party truck to the front. It's where you belong. Uh, jump around again. Raise it up. I think this is the point where we can already go in, question mark. Moving. Yeah, we're fine. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, leopard inbound. Hold up. Wait. You drop these guys who are supposed to destroy the buildings right on top of the buildings. We've got a Clint. So AC-10 is here. Rotunda with double LRM-5. We got a battle armor squad, which should be easy for us. And a CX with SRMs and a medium laser. What do you want? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Give him a turn. Because I don't like spawn protection. Good. We're gonna get this done. The Phoenix Hawk needs to be replaced. It's not strong enough. Y you are right. Yeah, I agree with you. It's not a good build that we have right now. It needs more firepower. But I have I have failed to find firepower for the Phoenix Hawk so far. It's kind of limited on hard points. I think what it wants is bigger energy weapons. And we just had a mag with two Snubnose PPCs. Maybe we want to salvage them. But then we still lack the, the ability to cool. Okay. Rotunda, do your worst. Good. We're ready to go now. So in we go. I still have not used the mines. Ugh. There was just not a good opportunity for it. This is just a car. Look at this guy. It's just a race car. Yeah, that's a problem. One down. What's my idea on the Loader King? I haven't gotten there yet. I just played the first two missions where we meet up with the Hansen's uh, Rough Riders. It's the good old Honda Civic with weapons attached to it. Okay. Disco truck. Disco truck. Mm. So what is the battle armor going to do to my disco truck if I go there? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Ah, they are... Oh, God. They are stealthed. Mm. But the party is on. <laughs> the CX is pronounced Sax. Or Sax. Ah, thank you, VIP. Thank you. I almost got that wrong. What is it already? Uh, we need sensor locks. Who, who has that? The Dervish? Holding. Wrong target, friends. Target the battle armor. Huh? Nah. Not good enough. Uh, is this enough to get them? Debatable. It might just be in range. Huh? Let's take a look. Got the Clint, got the Rotunda, got the Sax, and the Nighthawks. Boltergeist. <laughs> they got infantry rifles. That's cool. Nice touch on the name there. What do you want? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That means I'm gonna use my uh, hatchet oh, man to get rid of the sax. Right? Oh. That thing had out. SRMs, they needed to go. Take that. Let's Take that. Rotunda is down. Good. So it's only Clint left. Right? No, and one Nighthawk. One. Yeah, I wanted to use my Phoenix Hawk to get these guys down. You know what? I will. There's no need to expose ourselves to the Clint. So let's go over here. Actually drop the mines? Question mark. You know what? It's pretty good. The Clint is covered in mines now. Let's see how much damage he takes. It's moving one hex. 
Mm. Was that a, a careful maneuver? Who knows? Line of sight is hard to acquire. Oh, by the way, line of sight. I did totally not use my fire control system here. Mm -mm -mm. That's a thing that we need to change, probably. It's pretty good damage. Hello, Sapphire. Welcome. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna go out with the boom here. Hatchet. Oh, let's do it. Take this. And still, the hatchet does not kill immediately. Good hit there. However, double boom plus the lasers. Ah, uh, punch out. Standard auto cannon ten might fit on the Phoenix. Mm, nah. We tried the ultra auto cannon ten clan, which was a ten ton weapon. A regular auto cannon 10 in a sphere is 11 ton already. If I remember. Yeah, I think it's 11 ton. So it's even heavier than the Ultra 10 that we tried and that didn't fit. So I doubt it. Ambitions, you're welcome. Saying uh, thank you because your new Lancelot series reignited my love hate relationship with the game, La Mau. <laughs> yeah, it is good. It is good. Cool. So our guy survived. That's nice. You know... Cloudbuster is not bad. Cloudbuster is a decent tank. Uh, we only got two salvage. Now we should try something for the... Uh, like in terms of equipment so that we can outfit our mechs a bit better. And yes, this was the large laser thunderbolt. That was what we were talking about. What's the deal of this thing? I think it has a bit more damage to it than a regular. Oh, it's lighter. It's lighter. It's six tons compared to seven. Cool. That's nice. We've got a tag. By the way, tag, not bad. Not bad on the hatchet man. Flag fire control system. That's evasion ignore. Chance to deal a crit and negative one recoil. That's solid. SLDF fire control system gives just night vision. Don't really care about it. I think I want a Guardian ECM. Ooh. Ooh, they got Incendiary AC5 ammo. That's good. Bit of Feral. Two AC5 might run. Accuracy and Evasion ignore for a jam chance. And the fact that they cluster is fine. Flag ammo as well. Dudes, I'm actually... I'm in... I want the Cloudbuster. I want it. But we only get to pick two parts here, which is not good enough. Look into the Star Slayer. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will, I will. Wanna, wanna check the quirks again. It's not bad. Also, here's my Star Slayer. Mm, all right. PPC fire control system. We got an increased accuracy, negative one recoil, negative 10% heat, negative 30% minimum range, less jam chance, and 25% increased crits. That's good. What's the gunnery? Oh, wait, I need to check that again. It has a ferrofibrous. Oh, there's the gunnery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Defensive double plus. Snubs are gone, sadly. I wanted those. I mean, we cannot take this whole thing. It takes 21 picks, so we gotta disassemble that and see what's left, okay? Ah, Cloudbuster. Good tank. Really good tank early on. So we can take the double five, Mydron. Uh, and ammo for it. Possible. We could take... Uh, I don't think I need the Pharaoh. Passive sensor. No, thank you. Don't need that. This is a good fire control system. The Royal Heatsink Kit? Uh, no, it doesn't fall out. These are fixed items. That's good. Defensive Gyro Double Plus. It's just a bang. It's massive. It can go in any mech. We got gunnery for more gunnery. Yeah, why not? Slick Sweet is nice for piloting. Do we have something like that? Yeah, we have the DNI cockpit on our hatchet man already, so we don't need that. Uh, yeah, gunnery. Here we go. 
ECM is also an option. But we will find more ECM. This is good value. Okay. We also got the piloting AE and the SLDF sensor. Uh, meh, mm, mm, nah. Keep it around. I think as long as I have the money to work with, I'm going to keep the engine around. Maybe we want to build something with it. That's cool. The tactics from multiple slicks stack. Oh, I thought it was just the initiative that stacks. And the sensor range or whatever you get. Huh. Hmm. Okay. So I guess there's a bit of rebuilding due. We want the fire control system missile for our uh, friend the um, Dervish. And since this is a direct firing missile fire control system, we probably want to get the MRM on the guy. I mean, LRMs also work with direct line of sight. And yes, since we are so mobile, it doesn't really matter. We will generate the direct line of sight, like, always. Almost always. It doesn't really matter too much if we're going LRM, SRM, or MRM. Um, but I don't know if we have a better one already installed, like a Predator or something. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out, guys. Yeah, you can fire... Wait, you cannot fire LRM directly? That's what I mean. I think, yeah, we totally can. And in fact, we are running a Predator. We're running standard SLDF for night vision. I mean, we can put the Predator on the Hatchet Man, so the auto cannon hits more often and put the, the other one over here. But then we have this weird night vision problem. Never mind, we got optics. Uh-huh. Hold up. No. Optics Mark II do not grant night vision. Crap. I feel like the Predator is just what we want right now. That's awkward. Um, who's gonna get the gunnery? I, f I, I think it should be Irby, because gunnery helps um, unjamming. But this also has a twenty percent jam chance. Well, 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 well. You get piloting A, that's for sure. So you hit better in melee. Wait, got a melee gyro. Gives us plus one accuracy. Uh, the XL helps us with the weight. One and a half tons. Oh, we gotta drop the laser again. Or maybe... Maybe a heat sink. And a bit of armor. Is it worth? I don't think so. I, I really don't think... Actually, it, it might be worth. It might be worth. When looking at you, you don't have a gyro. So you could either take the defensive one, or you can take the XL, freeing up some weight to work with. But you're good as is, that's the thing. Ah, oh, I need to think. What are we doing with you? I think it's fine. We don't need to rebuild. Yeah, I'm just gonna upgrade a little. It's gonna be okay. So, um... Yes, you're gonna get gunnery and you get the piloting. That's all we want here. That's fine. It's okay. And then... Uh, I need to check my Phoenix Hawk and see what's going on there. Compete in a high stakes room. It's usually good. E we get some high spirits. Very good. Who the hell ever heard of the Schwartz system? I don't. Yeah, we're gonna wait. It's fine. Okay, so we are sitting at 3 million C bills after financial report, guys. <laughs> oh my god. We'll check Phoenix. We have some gyros to put in. And I do think he has. Oh, he doesn't have one yet. Oh, that makes him so much better because he is. He needs to be on the front line. That's his deal. There is no way around it with the small weapons that he has. That's so good. That's massive for him. Yeah, I like it. 
I wonder if there's anything else we can do with him. Any, like, electronics? I didn't know we had a double heatsink lying around. Uh, like, a kit lying around. I mean, uh... I mean, uh... Ha! Ha 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 ha! That makes things a little bit more interesting, my friends. That allows us to drop these heat sinks altogether, saving a full two tons of equipment. We don't necessarily need the beagle probe as well. We can also drop that. Oh, look at that. We got some weight. Ha! Huh. Drop the pirate pulse laser. We got four tons. I mean, we gotta repair that thing. Okay. The question is, what are we doing with those tons? Could upgrade my weapons to medium pulse lasers. A PPC is kind of out of reach. Man, I wish this guy had missile hard points. It's so weird. He has an ultra too. Drop the lasers, have an ultra too. It's also not really helping. Let's keep the max shots around. They're good. They're just good. So. Flamers? No. So the only thing I could really do... Ah, it's 39 damage. I mean, it's, it's good and it's good against battle armor. When taking a look at this, it's 30 damage only. Yes, they have a bit longer range, but we don't really care about that range. So awkward. Do I? I mean, sometimes I have targets that are a bit too far away. <laughs> I have a mech and I don't know what to do with it. Oh no. Wait, there's even another single heat sink here. Yeah, I, I almost... Yeah, I dropped it accidentally here, right? Huh. I don't know what to do. Upgrade the small poles. Yeah, I guess we can do that. There we go, we got medium pulse lasers instead of the small pulse. But again, these small pulses have their viability, they have their place because battle armor is still a thing and small pulses have a bonus against battle armor, accuracy and damage wise. Uh, little Irby. Okay, let's see what's left here. Oh, we were losing double heat sink kit here. Oh no. Oh no! Okay. Wanna bring him back? Yeah, let's do that. 180? No doubles? Oh, we're not gonna be cold enough with just singles. That is gonna be a problem. Uh, but anyway. So these three are for free because of engine rating. Let's check. We have another of these rotaries, right? Yeah, okay. So one ton for each. Guess the rest is cooling. It doesn't have to be. Give it some jumpies. Sure. There we go. Uh, actually, give it a mind dispenser. That's cool. Okay, so we will be significantly slower with the Irby, but the jump capability should give it enough, like, raw mobility to work with. I honestly, I just want to put some more heat sinks in the mag, and then we're gonna call it a day. One, two, done. I'm off the legs. Alright, that's Irby back in action in nine days. We have so little ammo for this, but hey, we'll check it out. Our disco laser. Oh yes, we have the disco lasers. We don't necessarily need the Phoenix Hawk. That's right. Alright, so we have a new month. That means we should also take a look at the store. That's kind of important. Because with money, there come great opportunities. Who are you, Infiltrator? You've got a battle armor ECM. Mm, that's nice. Has the ambusher, ambusher quirk for lower visibility and sensor signature. Is running stealth. Running max shots. 
battle armor max shards for 10 damage each. And jump jets. So it's a 40 damage unit. Which is technically quite defended. The only problem that we have is that they have like no mobility. Absolutely none. No claws, no swarm. Honestly, I don't necessarily want to go swarm. It's too much though. It, it'll it's just so much investment to get these going. Yeah, we would probably use them as um as a squad that we drop on one of our like maybe on the disco truck if it works. Uh drop with them, get to the front line, let them fall off and then like shoot in every direction while being somewhat stealth. Command console. Did they change any? It doesn't matter. It's six tons. I don't even look at it. No. Okay. Guys, I think I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and play another mission. Irby needs some love, some, some work. But we will get there. I need a tank or a hover with a battle armor compartment. Yeah, people also said that there are some that you can uh, that actually have gun ports where you can use your battle armor to shoot out of them while they are on the tank or in the tank. That sounds fun. That's a good mission. We'll take it. Okay. Operation Orange Shrek. Ah, let's get all the salvage. Okay. In we go again. Ready to roll. Problem is my drink is empty. I think I need another one soon. Mm. So you probably have to do without me for a second. Yeah, Chandala just said it. Vehicles with firing ports are the next for battle armor since you never have to dismount them. That's pretty cool, but you also need good weapons with them then. Battle armor compartments on VTOLs aren't working right now. Interesting. Thomas in the house, gifting five memberships to the YouTubes. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you so much, man. I wonder if the announcer is coming in. But hey, thumbs up to you. How was your day so far? There it is. Get me a beer, bro. Man, I want a beer as well. But I have none cold right now. Hmm. Is a warm beer good enough? I don't know. Hey, Shizzle. I'm having an okay day. I hope you too. Okay. Get me into that battle. I want to try my new build. My optimization. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. A German man said, what? I have no cold beer in the house right now. That's what I said. Yeah. Forgot to put some in the fridge. It does exist, but it's not cold. Support lands. Oh, all right. Can we get like high elevation? Answer is no. Then I'm gonna drop right down here. But warm is your wheelhouse. No, I prefer cold. Got a sprint. Actually, let's reserve a turn. I want to see what's coming. Who's that? Telltale? VTOL? Okay. Another one. Oh, this is VTOL land. <gasps> uh oh. These are rockets. These are rockets. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, maybe some of these are flares. They have like some SRMs. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, okay, okay. There's more stuff here. The valley with the Mars and the double mine dispenser. That's a kind of a nice squad that you got there, my friends. Lots of flying units and the mine layer, huh? Scotty. Ugh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is a problem. What do we do about it? We wait. We wait. Here they come. Is Max as well. Whitworth, a double LRM-10. And the Mortar 2 Technical. Yo, guys. What is it already? Holding. Here comes the mine layer. Oh, I'm grinding hesitation here. This guy is running an ECM as well. It's kind of nasty. 
Heavy PPC. <sighs> yeah. Then we just die, I guess. With the oh my god, with the defensive gyro, we ge generate nine evasion. That's so good, man. I like it. Okay, disco truck. Disco truck goes here. Let's go. I can just hope that I can just take the shot and not die. What's my ping radius actually? Give me a sec. I want a ping. I want to do it now. I can get two of these helicopters in there. Mm -hmm. I move here, I get more. Fine. Don't kill my dervish. Here we go. We ping first round. <laughs> okay. Negative two, negative two, negative two. Yeah, early yes. on they don't have these perks that um, prevent them from getting sensor locked. Okay. Okay. We are able to initiate. What do we want to hit? Mine bombs. Oh. <laughs> okay. The Telltale is not that bad. It is nasty, yes, but it has a narc. Mm, narc is not great. Double SRM4. Manageable. Quick sell LRM. I don't care. What are you? ER medium laser and a rocket. Eh. And this is a broken heavy PPC, which is currently my biggest concern. Next to Mr. Mars Mine Dispenser. God, all of these are nasty. Huh. Okay. Okay, we go here. And we're gonna just see what we can hit. I think the lightning should go with the heavy peep. Yeah, it's also the best hit chance. Let's go! It has armor. Telltale. Let's go. Shizzle is asking, I have played the vanilla Battletech campaign through a few times. Is Rogue Take a good mod to try out? Um, I mean, yes, always. But if you feel that this might be a little bit too complex for you, I would advise you going for Battletech Advanced 3062. It's a bit closer to the base game. It doesn't have that many crazy, like, changes. Um, I think it's a bit easier to handle, and I think it's also not that heavy on the PC resources. So, I think it's good middle ground. My dervish. My poor dervish. Hmm. Alright. Turn 10. Is the mortar guy. Oh, please drop high explosives. Yeah, thank you. He's dropping the mines. Taking him away. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, rough terrain. Let's try to avoid it if possible. Okay. At the same time, there is a guy that we gotta take out. Yeah. Almost. He's turn three. So we got a little bit of time to get the last hit on the A11 Lightning Bolt. Hmm. Scotty. That's a headshot. We got a headshot on Monster. But he just took it. Okay. Hmm. Feel like I have to do this. As much as I hate it. Let's go in here. Finish him! I wanted to drop the mines on the guys further away on the ground units. But hey, this helicopter is important. Okay, now it's you, my friend. You also have mines. <laughs> oh! Ah, uh, he didn't do anything. That means we're gonna punish him! With... <laughs> with Disco! That's how we do it here. Alright, so... What is my next best target? What needs to go? You dropped your... Wait, you crit your SRMs, but you have another mine dispenser ready to go. 
Hmm. My hit chance is bad, though. Because they got 9 evasion. But go for the Whitworth. Yeah, I wanted to drop these mines to see what I can do with them. So let's actually do it. We could end up in the forest here, but it doesn't help. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a hit chance. Mine dispenser are on. Let's see. We're gonna see how this goes. What do you want? They counter my hatchet man hard. Uh okay. Let's roll. Should I activate my guardian? How big is the circle? Let me jam some people here, that's nice. I do like it. Unlucky. Here we go! You know what I think happened? I believe when these enemies are in a minefield, they might not move that far. They are actually going for careful maneuvering, trying to avoid the mines, basically tiptoeing around them, which is, as a result, a low evasion turn for them. Which is massive. That's amazing crowd control. I do like it. Where is my hit chance? Yeah, let's go mineral field. This guy is already very damaged. Um, chaff. Because why not? Come on! Unlucky. Mines are acting as denial weapons, as they should. It kind of feels like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lamentation also said, yes, enemies are taking careful maneuvers here. Cool. It's good. I really want to get the techie out. My disco laser hit chance is really bad on the flyers. However... We just established that this guy is careful. So we're gonna punish him for that. Oh boy, the heat on him. He might just blow up his ammo. That's cool. Now, with these flyers, especially in our flanks, we got a little bit of a problem. That's a 10 evasion. You're running. Oh yeah, these guys have the hit and run doctrine, so they will engage a turn, then they will try to get away a turn, then they will engage a turn, and then they will try to get away, and so on. Oh god. Also, did they buff Mortars? Because I really feel like I am getting punished by them recently. Hmm, more mines. The other way around would have been better. Now we're stuck down here. Eh. I'm gonna reserve. Yes. Okay. Hatchet? It's not the greatest hatchet attack, but I'll take it. Moving. Somebody has to. Take this. Down with the Toyota. <laughs> Let's go. I think we made a statement here. I got a beat on him. I'm not opposed to get these, but where would I put- Oh, we could put these on an urban mech! I mean, my periphery rifle setup is also pretty good. But still, we could put them on an urban mech. You are empty. Okay. You're also too far away. Sure. Hello, friend. Not dead. I kind of want to keep my three evasion that I have right now. Don't want to move. Don't want to get damaged by the mines. Mm -mm. No, no. Scotty is running. What now? Telltale is empty. Or jammed. I don't know. He had like one SRM shot and then he didn't shoot anymore. Cannot imagine that that is an empty ammo bin. I think they are actually, like, jammed or so. Okay. Just a medium. That's okay. Great. Now, what? 
6 evasion is actually hittable. Also, 6 evasion. We would run over 76 mines if I wanted to get out there. Holy crap. 120, 150 here. Ooh. So yes, I could also carefully maneuver. Which I will. Let's go here. Whip. I want to get one of these helis down. Uh, the Whitworth is just a better target. Mm, keep the medium lasers here. No chaff. It's fine. Yeah, he's not a threat anymore. It's good. Some of the wing-mounted rockets show, show us SRM. Oh, that could be it then. So they had like wing-mounted bombs and wing-mounted rockets and a narc, which is also empty? Question mark? Hmm. Let's go disco truck. He might not be a danger right now, but I just wanted to get him off the battlefield, just in case. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. Ammo cook-off. The Whitworth is, is down. Right? Nice one. Very, very nice. Okay, we tried to shoot into the sky with 27% chance to hit. Also, we now have enough resolve to be vigilant. Okay. Don't run over the mines, my friend. You are too far away, and you are... Oh, you only have six evasion. But still... Can we run to the other side? I mean, I could jump. Meh. Meh, I don't like it. We run over 16 mines. Let's see what happens. 15 armor damage! What?! To each leg?! That's huge! That is massive! For our mech, in our situation right now. Ooh boy! Um, uh, wait for him to come back, I guess. Turn 5. Holy! I wonder if it could go higher than that. So if that was already the maximum. Oh god. Don't do that to me, man. Yeah, hmm, hmm. Yeah, we run over here. Alright. You do a twist. Zip. Stay where you are. We do have SAM ammo, don't what do we? You want? I, I think we do. On my way, Commander. Fire! Alpha strike. Not bad. Yeah, fine. We'll only shoot the max shots. Better than nothing right now. Double 13. So, let me quickly check. So, no. SAM ammo is on the other playthrough. Alright, gotcha. Okay. You need to wait for the guy to come to you. Huh? Come on, Scotty. Don't run away. It would be a pain in the butt to hunt you down. Oh, very nice. Thank you. So, we can fire. We can also use Vigilance for higher initiative next round in case we need it. But I doubt it. Because it's party time. This is just amazing. These disco lasers, they slap. Holy crap. Absolutely insane. I love them. Good accuracy, good damage output. And they're funny. Hey, that's good. That's good. Poor Barra, out of cold beer, losing his mind on ammo. My mind is not in the right state, that I can tell you. So if you run over 150 mines, you may be having a bad time. Yeah, I need to read up on the current state of mines. Uh-huh, no pun intended. Mm. Because, as far as I remember, mines behaved like that. Whenever you drop a mine, um, or like a minefield, uh, multiple mines will stack on the same hex. You can have like 20 mines in one hex, and they count as 20. And if you have like a path going over multiple hexes, you could like have 120 mines on your path. However, when running over a hex, 
the first mine has a chance to trigger. If that doesn't trigger, the next mine has a chance to trigger. If that doesn't trigger, the next mine, and so on. So again, think of it as stacks of trigger chances. And as far as I remember, the first time a mine in a hex triggers, the other ones won't trigger anymore. So only one will actually blow up, the other ones stay. So we just have a higher chance when stacking these, but not necessarily more damage. The path is, um, like, the length of the path determines how much damage you will actually take in the end. So, I don't know if it would have been necessarily more. I think it was just massive stacks here. Not the, like, not, not the amount of pathing that I had there. But I might be wrong. I have not checked out the current patch notes on mines yet. I think it was old information. Scotty is not bad, but this one is a quick sell, so I would say no. I think I'm gonna say no. Lightning Bolt, heavy PPC and the flare, also pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. It has an accurate weapon PPC quirk, so the heavy PPC is something that we could work with. Redbat says, that is still how mines work. Chained and linked detonations are disabled. Gotcha. Yeah. We have a Sprint VTOL, the Telltale VTOL. I don't really care about that right now. That, however, is a Whitworth. It's not a bad mech, per se. As a C3 slave unit. Uh, it's also not exciting. I'm gonna skip on that completely. We can just take some specialist items here. Like a Flare. Like a quick cell laser AMS. Two tons, one slot. Four damage to missiles can fire up to three times. It's a pretty good intercept chance as well. But it is hot as hell. Nine heat per activation is a lot. But it is good. It intercepts a lot of missiles. Six shots though. Eh. It doesn't intercept a lot of missiles. It is just accurate and deals good damage. So, most of the times... It takes down six missiles. Nah. Four. Ish. I think it's not good enough. It's too much of an investment for the outcome. I don't like it. It's enough for the early game. The heat is not really manageable for me. So it's an extra 27 heat if it fires three times per round. 27 is a lot early on. I think it's not great. Six shots per activation just doesn't kill it. Nah. I'm gonna say no. Another Narc. Well, we have one already. Don't need another one. Rex Laser has some uses. Extra damage to armor is not bad. Deals 35 damage. Ah, the damage fall off was the deal breaker there. <gasps> yes! All right. We got an XL engine. Oh, honestly? That solves a lot of problems. That's pretty cool. With the night vision upgrade, we could use that on the dervish, drop the predator and instead get the missile fire control system in there and put the predator on somebody else who needs that. It's pretty good. Passive sensors, no thank you. Half a ton of dead fire. Would go a long way for my friend the dervish. There's Hydra ammo as well. Mortars. Give me the Mortars. They are not here. And by the way, these seem to be SRM4 Valiants. Uh, actual SRMs. Single heat sink cooling down there. Okay. So a quick check on the LRM5 quick sell. I just want to see. I want to know. It is just absolutely inaccurate. But it only weighs a ton. So it's half the weight for negative 3 accuracy. I mean, volume of fire. Stealth X. Stealth X, you say. I want the Hydra, I want the dead fire. Actually. Where's Stealth X? There we go. What does it give us? Um, good chunk of heat, six flat and six percent. 
Would be something for the Dervish, yeah. I see that. Okay, let's take some items. I want the dead fire. I, oh wait, we are already at four. Huh. Do I want the dead fire? I kind of want that. I also need the night vision. Question is, do I need the hydra ammo? It's good to light everything on fire. It doesn't really deal a lot of heat damage. It's only one heat per missile. But the area of effect heat damage is good. Okay, we can do without dead fire. That's the thing. We, we can do without it. It's fine. What I do want more is the night vision, actually. Here we go. Here we go. So we get a bunch of these things, like VTOLs, double telltale, double, no, one sprint, one Scotty part, one cargo truck, Whitworth, medium laser, small Rex, 16 single heat sinks. Get out of here. Single heat sink cooling. Oh god. Standard fusion engine. <laughs> and all the mortar ammo in the world. Sure, now we need to find mortar. We have a mortar, don't we? Don't we have a mortar 4 lying around? Hmm. We'll see. The Kappa is a very good 55 ton mech because it has the old optics as a special. Interesting. Yeah, I, I found a, a very interesting uh, Shadowcat today on my YouTube playthrough, which also had an amazing fire control system. And like, what? I need that. And then I just assembled it and it was like, okay, it's not here. It is a fixed item. That was kind of bad. I was really hyped about it and then, yeah. But it makes sense. Having some special mechs that just have that is really cool. I wish you could tell. I wish it would say somewhere in the, somewhere in the tooltip that this is not salvageable. That you have to actually take the whole thing. Okay, my friends. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get myself a drink. Um, you stay here with uh, Charadul and I'll be seeing you in a second, all right? Don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, I'm gonna tell you. There's one good reason to get married. And that is having a wife who actually puts beer in the fridge. And you go down there and you get surprised by it. Ah, I'm happy. <laughs> ah, this is good. I have cold beer. Wife her again. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That is so good right now. Drink responsibly. Okay. Where were we? A uh, bit of repairs here. Oh, the dervish. Yeah, it got hit. Herbie is almost ready to go again. And we got three mech base, so we can order it like that. Oh my god, it's gone. She clearly knows the priorities in life. Beer, beer, more beer, family. <laughs> and mechs. Yeah, she's awesome. I mean, she likes beer as well. She... <laughs> 
<laughs> she grew up in a family where, um, yeah, man, it sound might might sound wrong. They they are not alcoholics, so definitely not. But they drink beer on a regular basis, so maybe they are. I don't know. God, please don't tell her. But yeah, they very beer heavy family. So she likes beer as well. Um, anyways. I'm gonna repair and then we're gonna dive in it again. Did we find anything? Help me out, chat. What did we just take? The night vision and everything, correct? <laughs> Buy your wife a beer. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thomas, thank you, man. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, have you considered making beer? Mm, yes, and I decided against it. Um, a friend of mine is, and I'm not really interested in it. It's not a thing that I want to spend my time with. I want to go to the mech bay now, and I want to rebuild the dervish, but it is already in repair. So we got to wait a little bit. Thank you, Yang. It feels wrong having 3 million seabills lying around. So wrong. <laughs> Buy your beer wife. Ah! This is so... I need to fix that. I always forget. Thank you. <laughs> Buy your wife a beer smiley face. <laughs> My god. Give me night vision here. Get out the predator. Hold up. Before we do that. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Yes. Oh, that's going to be so good. All right. A uh, bit of shifting around here. I'm going to use the missile fire control system here we drop the predator which gives us good accuracy and night vision however we have night vision here now drop the chaff gonna put it on another guy oh by the way we had stealth x lying around that was a mispick i mean we can sell it it's it's quite okay so this thing doesn't really give us anything right because 270 meters i'm gonna drop the optics it's close range stuff now we have a long ranger here now, with that, missile accuracy, we can still see in the dark. Stealth a Oh. Yeah, well, that, that, that doesn't work. First of all, we need more slurts. And secondly, we have no ECM. One sec. Not again. Not again, Thomas, but thank you. <laughs> Fix that smiley face. <laughs> Fix that smiley face. I will eventually. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Holy crap. So the thing is, if we want to use stealth, which I kind of want, honestly, um, we probably run into heat trouble. A little bit. That means what we're going to do now is we drop the medium lasers. Oh, boy. Oh boy, hold up. Something is something is weird here. And I wanted to put some uh, Hydra ammo in the mech. Like that. But now we have two tons and no slots anymore. That doesn't feel right. <laughs> Worth the loves. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, uh, crap. No. I mean, yes, but no. Keep the lasers. It's better. I think it's better. Remove endo or ferro. Nah. Nah. It's alright. So, um, we have a predator fire control system that is uh freed up now. And the Phoenix Hawk still has the energy accuracy, which is fine for these, but not for the mag shots. So if you want to upgrade our mag shots. And give this guy even more accuracy. We're gonna use Optics Mark II instead of the Bolt. Which is, by the way, it's good. I do like the Bolt on. Um, but I think we want to be able to kill faster. Therefore, we're gonna hit more often and harder. So that is an option here. Irby has something going on for him already? Question mark. Alright, let's do that. Do you have an open slot? You 
do have two specialist slot, but you already carry the hatchet, which is problematic. It's very, very heavy. Bolton is quite heavy. Yeah. I mean, we, we can bring you the, the chaff to fire something. And, hold up. We have heavy industrial armor for five slots, which increases our carry capacity by a lot. Meh. All right. Gives us another ton as well. Oh boy. I wonder if that makes sense. I wonder if this is worth it for, let's say, the bolt on, having some extra defense, you know, it's quite nice. Dropping a bit of heat management. Negative 12 is not great. Chiefs fan, thank you for the 43 months. Very, very nice of you. Thank you. Hey, gaming. Welcome in, man. Was that a raid? It wasn't announced. Thank you guys for coming in. I was just not looking. <laughs> Welcome, man. How was your stream, dude? Thank you. I mean, I think the bolt one is fine here. I like that. Giving this guy a bit more... Ooh. Hold up. A bit more defense. Um, I had a thought. What if we don't use the medium lasers to destroy the enemies while we are running to the front line? What if we actually take the MRM... It's too heavy. It is too heavy. Who would have thought that? We can save another double heat sink. But that wouldn't get us there. That was an idea. So we keep the mediums. Or do we take the small pulses? Ah, we'll, we'll keep the mediums. It's fine. Now we have that extra ton. Uh, but what are, what are we doing with this? It was indeed a raid. The stream went pretty well, thanks. Played some more HBS Battletech. Hiatus Rim. What is that, actually? Is that another mod? Oh, wait. You're right. We have this mortar. It's a 5-ton item, though. It would just fit. Do like the idea of getting a mortar mech on the battlefield, but we need more mortars. So, guys, what are we doing with the last ton? We could maybe drop the XL, get the Melo Gyro online, actually. Bit of leg armor down. Bit of back armor down. We're juggling it. It's another four days. Yeah, being able to carry more, more crap is fine. Will we ever use the chainsaw? Yeah, actually. Oh, um, totally. Totally. It's a weapon that can fire after melee. That's great. The industrial laser cutter, same deal. Ah, but we don't have any hands. Anymore. Ha! Huh. Would you look at that? We can override the hatchet. I thought it wasn't possible. I mean, I don't want to, but it's interesting. What's better? Chainsaw or laser cutter? Laser cutter is 25 damage, 15 heat. Negative 1 accuracy. Double the damage against overheating targets. And the damage variation of 10. It's unreliable, but it's there. The chainsaw is 5 damage times 5, so it's a bit more crit seeking with the additional hits. I do think the cutter is better. It seems viable. With the heavy industrial armor, we can even think about a bigger hatchet or like a vibro sword or whatever we can find. That seems good. Okay, guys. Mm, this is... Uh, oh, God. We can now also upgrade the dervish once more because it's missing a gyro and now we got one for the dervish. Oh, boy. So many... So many options in the early game. Just shifting it around. Here we go. Give me an XL gyro. Bam! One and a half ton. The hell are we doing with it? There, there, there's nothing there! I'm freaking out! I mean, cooling is an option. It's kind of... We are in a hot biome, so... Give it a bit of extra cooling. And we have an ECM as well. Which we... What? 
Ah, sheath beacon is already installed. Never mind. A probe. A probe would be nice. We can just take it. You know what? I will. Nah, also already here. Beacon is there. <sighs> what did they just say? What did I want to put in the mech? Heat management, right? Like that? I don't know if it's worth the effort. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Let's do it anyways. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ammo in the head. Dead fire ammo. Ah, we didn't pick the dead fire ammo if, if I was uh, remembering correctly. Check it out. No dead fire ammo. Just regular LRM ammo. Nothing here. We need more SRMs or medium range missiles. I think I really want to make the Dervish more direct firing. Okay. So, work orders complete. We have a crap ton of money, so let's go ahead and build. I want to get all of these tech points so we can build faster. And then, I think training module 2 is also due. And then, sorry, um, get more pilots so that we can train them passively. Okay. Another mission for the Draconis Combine. I don't particularly like what I see, to be honest. I guess defense base is fine. Let's get all the salvage, it's really good. We are almost liked by them. Ooh! And Irby is back! Irby is back. So we can do this. And that. And who's Irby pilot? Oh, it was Braver. Yeah, right. The guy with the recoil reduction. Um, anybody good with recoil? Like you, Zed? Let's go. Let's do it. Would be dead fire thunderbolts fun or heresy? I think it would be fun. Isn't there something like that? I don't know, I think the kinetic kill is the long range one, correct? That just travels far and just gets more and more velocity while doing so and just impacting big time. Um, that would kind of be the opposite. I would love that. Speaking of Thunderbolt missiles, by the way, new patch for Mech Warrior Online coming this month. We will get Thunderbolt missiles, we will get plasma cannons, we will get AP Gauss rifles, mech shots, light auto cannons, as well as proto mech auto cannons for the clans. Am I forgetting anything? I'm hyped about it, guys. New weapon systems are always fun, and I cannot wait to play around with them. And I say it all the time, I think equipment matters more than new mechs, because new mechs are just flavor of some sort of stuff that we already have. But new weapon systems, you can do so many shenanigans by putting them into different mech mechs and putting them into different combinations. I love tinkering around with that. It's gonna be a big shakeup of the meta game, I think. Everybody will be running around like a headless chicken, trying out the new stuff, not knowing what they are doing. It's gonna be mayhem. But I'm here for it. AP Gauss Piranha. Oh my god. That sounds nasty. Yes. Yes. Command interface initiated. Okay, guys, here we go. These are our guys. Let's protect them. So we can attack. Good. Oh, wait. From the other side. Right. We got a thorn. In the back. A Hermes. A Locust. And an Oz Scout. Okay, so no people here then. Well, well, well. Gotta move and brace. Thorbjorn. I love that 9 evasion. Oh, is that good? Um, let's go active on our ECM so we can scramble the enemy rather than just being protected already? by ourselves. Sprint in the hatchet man. DNI on. Badam. So our recoil reduction is basically two right now. So we can shoot four times with the periphery rifles and not generate any recoil, right? Okay. 
I think it's fine since we also lost a good chunk of ammunition. So keeping our um, our our barrel spinning less and uh, shoot less often gives us a bit more sustain. Were you? Oh, the party truck. Yeah. Um, sure. Into the city. Here we go. Yes. Oh yes. Can we? Nah. Can only take a charge here. So I'm gonna reserve that. There's no need to go in yet. If the Thorn decides to get closer though, mm, I'm ready. What's coming? It's Thorn time. He's running away. Yeah, he knows what's coming. Okay. Okay then. Ooh, this should be perfect. Hmm. We got Hydra, we got Standard. Ah. Why is this missile... Oh wait, less accurate. Because we don't have them on the arms, that's why. Gotcha. And let's go for the Locos. Phoenix Hawk. Let me go ahead and follow up on what we did with the small lasers and everything. Is it worth dropping? Yeah, it is worth dropping the mines here. Logos, if you want to get away. Good luck. I can jump out of this again, no problem. Really wonder what he's gonna do. Also, combat lock. Scout, single medium laser, and he hits. That's okay. So I really wonder what the Locust Pilot has on his mind right now. Is he gonna carefully step? Is or is he gonna run around in full charge? On my way, Commander. Let's intercept here. Double hit. Gotta love it. Good hit there. No evasion. And we got turrets. Ooh boy. And it seems like they will activate this round already. Um, let's make it easier for them by going over here, shooting four times. Get a knockdown. I thought you were going back to the floaties. Uh, yeah, but it's a thing that I have to manage. I have to actually, you know, get the reinstallation process going again, recalculating everything or recalculating, um, configuring everything. It's a thing I don't want to go through right now. Hey, Hermes. How are you? Ugh. Oh no. I hope this is a building that is... Oh no! It is one of our major buildings. Ooh. Um, the Locust... Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. He moved carefully, it seems. Yeah. Total area denial. That keeps a light mech in place. Drop mines on them. They won't go anywhere. Amazing. I like it. It's cool. Yeah, destroying our own building is not so cool. But we have a lot of leeway. Four must survive. Eight remain. That's okay. Scout is not quite dead. He's stressed though. I do like my mines. It's pretty cool. Okay, he down. He down now. Royal heat sink kid. Hmm. What do you want? Huh, I say. Okay, we go around here. We gonna drop an ultra 10. Okay. Let's jump out of the mines into the back. Hermes is down. By the way, reinforcements will come down in turn uh, 7, for all of you who are wondering. So we have a bit of room. A bit of time. Hmm. Eh. Wanna shoot the Locust? Come on. There was a spot. There it is. 
Okay. Attack. That's a great way to pin down enemy max. I think I need to reconsider mines. Not by having all of them dropped on the on the ground, but having one way to get some mines on the battlefield? That sounds great, man. The thought is completely avoiding it as well. What did the poor little tin can do to you? Not a lot, obviously. <laughs> because he's dead. Uh, yeah, Irby. Get down there. Alright. So, Disco Truck is doing Disco things. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, let's go back, actually. Just go back. Do nothing. Yes. So, hardcore. Another time. I think we actually have to wait for the Thorn to come back. There's okay. no way to get an angle down there except for indirect fire. And even with that, we are not good right now because we changed fire control systems. Direct fire is where it is. Where it is at right now. God. Speaking. It's not easy. You could go down there. Go for another jump. Better damage. I am not afraid getting unsteady. There's only one instance of damage that is threatening me. And I can stabilize afterwards. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? Hmm. Okay. On my way, Commander. Goblin is also running just SRMs, but a lot of them. That's pretty good. Brace it up. Next round, we're gonna get company. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that we get this guy down by now, but we didn't. Lerms? Three damage. Okay. Ah, yes. Here they come. We got a lance down there, and there might be also one in the water over here to the right side. I'm not entirely sure. Is that the only one? All right, so. Yeah, I wanna get this guy down and I wanna get him down now. So, this is the spot. Direct fire. Yeah, here we go. I wanna keep my resolve for later. Dead? Almost. I'll take it. Mm, Red Moon Industry says, I like to do a mortar and at least one mindset, LRM or another mortar, on my multi-track mag, just so I can hit mine smoke uh, in a location where I'm not fighting the main group. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about the same. Just some battlefield control while focusing down what on the other part already? of the battlefield. Let me see. Oh my god. There's lots of helicopters here. Nightshade. Shadowhawk, hmm, 2H. Panther, Harris Hawk, Vector, EWS, and a Panther. Sounds to me like I want to get my friend the Hatchet Man over here. We need to start intercepting. I should have supercharged to get closer. But we still have a round where we can use that. Thorn, do nothing. Good. Yeah, I'll use my Phoenix Hawk to intercept and just kill this guy. And then we go and run backwards. He is very mobile and has a lot of jump jets. So he's gonna definitely be able to catch up with the team. That's good. Cool. Looking amazing. Wonder what we do against the VTOLs. They seem to be dangerous. And I mean, our big prize here is obviously the Shadowhawk. If we can get our hands on this guy, that would be fantastic. A nice 50-ton mech, very versatile, good chunk of different hard points. You run! Alright, a medium laser, a weapons bay. Don't know what's in there. But also a rocket wing mounted and a high explosive bomb wing mounted. Medium laser, small pulse. And a tag. 
Okay. The Ripper is running two mediums and a medium chemical laser, wing mounted. Panther PPC, obviously. Another one here. Yep. Bit broken. And the Nightshade is only running a medium laser diverse optics. Shadowhawk? A nice array of something. It's not the most exciting mech. But it is alright, you know? Like the stock build is garbage. We need to put a lot of effort into building this, but I'm here for it. What's going on? Can I drop the mines here? Like Oh, so I, I think what I know what's happening. We technically have range on the mine dispenser, but it's an air unit, so I cannot target it. What if I attack the ground? No weapon can fire. Yeah, we're lacking line of sight. But hold up. Try again. That's not smart. Let's not do it. No. Uh, I think I'm gonna obstruct my own path to, to the enemy. Let's not do it. Hey, Scott, you missed Chara Duel. Yeah, man, I know. <laughs> Sorry. You can always watch the VOD later on YouTube or Twitch. And go back to that spot, if you like. Disco truck. I think our disco truck will be our main force against the VTOLs. The evasion ignore is gonna be amazing here. Still eight. Goblin? Nothing. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm sorry. The other thing to consider is that. We only have seven rounds to deal with all of these guys. If we don't kill the Shadowhawk by then, it's not gonna be on the loot table. So the timer is working for and also against us when thinking about salvage. That's pretty good. That's a very solid hit. What is it already? Okay, so now we go for the supercharger. Oh! We also get 11 evasion out of that. Ah! All right. I'll take it. Is there anything I can reliably hit? Yeah, this guy. I mean, we tried. We tried hard. Yeah, I believe it's better to let them come close so we are not firing at extreme range all the time. Yeah, I think it's good. The evasion will not change anyways. It will always be like 8-ish. Maybe more, maybe less. Uh, but we need them to be closer because our weapons don't have to reach. It's Elias. Yeah, I like this man. He has such a nice voice. Alright, turn 14. These guys are also pretty slow. Wait. Hold it. Goblin. These nuts. Yeah, I know. That's some good damage on the Ripper. I don't think that we are in danger of losing the mission at all. Brace. But I want the Shadowhawk. This is my goal. Ah. Uh -huh. Here we go. I still have an Ultra Auto Cannon 10 that would really fit the side also. Like, Ultra Auto Cannon 10 plus MRM 20, that's already a build. That's, that's something that we can work with. Dude. It's good damage. Taking damage. Yeah. That might have been the bomb. It was the bomb. Okay. Still, the weapon spay might be filled with something as large as an arrow, actually. So we're gonna take the Ripper. Sorry, no, the Harris Hawk out of the sky. It's important. Yeah, these buildings are not gonna go down. It's fine. So, that being said, the Harris Hawk is the target. Let's go, Irby. Ah, oh, we only got 20% chance. 28 on the Ripper, Vector. 17 on the Ripper. And that is not even a possibility. Um... It's hard. The Vector has more armor. So we will try to take this guy out, no matter what. That's 30 damage. I'll take it, why not? Let's go. 
And keep in mind, we also got turrets that are gonna be helpful. Yep, yeah, like that. Disco laser. 27, 21, 29. On, uh, there's a Wolverine? That's also a very good medium mag. Uh, difficult. We will deal very little damage to the Wolvie because he is guarded right now, so I'm gonna go for the flying unit again. Hell yeah. Propulsion crit. That's good. He's not gonna move that far anymore. We also got a sensor lock on the... on the Ripper. It's down to 5 evasion. Okay, here comes the Dervish. Let's go. It's kind of curious, we are actually running out of ammunition. We still have the Hydra, but I think we need like a regular bin of ammo still. Okay, so the guy with the weapon spare is out. I think next target is gonna be the Ripper because it's the easiest to hit with 5 evasion only. It's not the most dangerous one, but I think we're gonna go down the list by just destroying it. Taggart, it's Rogue Tag. It's uh, only Rogue Tag. It's a big like collection of mods. Or let's not say collection, it's a suite. More than that. Changes the game dramatically. Yes. And it's fun. Yeah, it's a charge attack. Um, Let's wait for the Wolvie to maybe come to us. Holding. Hey, Dion. Yeah, it's fine. It's not a bad hit chance, we'll take it. The early game is so funny. I'm happy about 10 damage. It is so weird, man. So damn weird. Alright, here we go. 40 missiles. I should probably make them count a bit more, huh? You know, a thing I can do is go Hydra on the Wolvie. Heat him up a little bit. Make him slower. Alright. Let's see what he's doing. Everything is burning now. Check it out. I'm gonna preserve my ammo for actual damage. And didn't I say earlier that I don't know what to put on the mech uh, uh, again? That's ammunition. We need more. Uh, yes, Irby... Irby go here. Drop the rotary rifles. As much as I want to drop some mines, this just makes sense. Ripper down. Here we go. Nightshade. What is your deal again? A medium laser, right? Yeah. Who cares? Yes. You wait, my friend. Wait for the Wolvie. Oh, he man. wants to come closer, right? Maybe we can counter-attack with the hatchet. And our industrial laser cutter now. Eh. Pretty happy he attacked the turret. He seems to be running a bunch of SRMs and medium lasers. Yeah, it's a lot of 10 damage instances here. Double medium laser, everything else is SRM. It's kind of dangerous. Cut. Ripper pilot had a band e bad end to their day. Rotary rifles are scary to see shot at you. And we have three of them. We're not firing them to maximum extent. We can fire six times if we want to. But the recoil is so massive that I don't dare going any higher. Alright. Turn 10. It's one of our tanks. Down goes the nightshade. I am happy about this. What do you want? Alright. So we cannot go for a melee. Only if we charge, and that's the thing I don't want. So we disable the supercharger. Hmm. This guy's fresh. Okay. Let's roll. Let's get to cover. I'm gonna drop chaff. Guns on target. 
Nice damage. I love that. Uh, I don't know if we... Good hit there. Yes, we do blind him. Decreased target sensor range multiplier. Decreased vision multiplier. Decreased accuracy. And his side torso is about to pop. Okay. Uh, let's get down here. And try to hunt down the Vector, because I think the Wolvie is gonna go down by a melee attack next round anyways. So, we deal damage to him. Shadowhawk. Sure, 8 damage. I have an idea. I wanna do something with the Urbi next round. We still have one Mind Dispenser, and I wanna see if I can pin down the Panthers. They are not the most mobile light mechs in the world, but they still have some mobility. And I wanna I wanna confirm my theory that they are not moving at all when mines are on their feet. Look at that. It generated six evasion. Hmm, where's my hit chance? Actually that's a pretty good move here. It's as good as it gets. I could use Vigilance. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't matter either. Last Alpha Strike. Here we go. Okay, so now we are down to Hydra ammo. Cool. And it's only only one Alpha Strike as well. <laughs> yeah, man. It's kind of crazy here. Mm, I'm gonna wait. I wanna see what my Hatchet Man can do before I attack the Wolverine. Our small weapons wouldn't have a big impact on the guy anyway, so we can use that to either finish him or either uh, attack the panther. Alright. Ah! But we wouldn't initiate turn 11. Well. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The mines are coming down. They're kind of running out of ammunition, but we have... Four Alpha Strikes left. That's alright. I was wondering if I should shoot all the times. Or if I should not. But let's let's keep it. I think our last Alpha Strike is gonna be two more. So the full six. Got a headshot. Huh? Wait. Are we? Oh, I should have reserved. I didn't see the UAV on the timeline. Ah, oh, I regret that now. What are you? You are the UAV. Okay, gotcha. Um, I mean, Party Truck has the ability to kill, but... Nah, that doesn't feel right. I want to go here. 27. 61! Let's go. Tomica. This party track kills! <laughs> what? What is going on, man? Such a great thing to have. Oh my god. Here's Wolvie. It's gonna hurt probably, right? Yeah, a bit. But he made a big mistake. He didn't get away from my melee mech. What is it already? And as a result, he's gonna get punished. Let's go. Wanna see the laser cutter in action? So we go physical weapon. 96 damage. Has it always been 96? I do wonder if the laser cutter interferes with that, but no, this is just a handheld weapon that fires during a physical melee attack. It doesn't replace the physical melee attack. Gotcha. Okay, that means no chaff, because we would blind ourselves. I don't want that. Let's go physical weapon for 96 damage and also the laser cutter. Take this. From the side, which is damaged already. Ugh. Underwhelming. That was nothing. Crippled them, Commander. <laughs> that was nothing. Oh no. Shadowhawk. Turret damage. Now, the good news is, we have more where that came from. 
on an unsteady target. We gotta unleash massive firepower. <laughs> oh god, this Phoenix Hawk, it needs to be replaced. It's not good. I think my Urban Mech is better than the Phoenix right now. Oh my god. Yeah, you go shoot the UAV, whatever. The most dangerous target on the battlefield. Congratulations, I hope you feel proud. <laughs> it is not real, man. That's good. We couldn't get any crits, though. Hmm. So, yeah, we are down to Hydra ammo. Sure. Let's shoot it. But at the back line. We tagged him as well. The Shadowhawk is running on single heat sinks, and he is gonna have a hard time getting out of that fire now. That's gonna be good for us. So, Hardcore, ready yes. again. We're gonna go for another hatchet attack. Let's move around a bit. Get three evasion out of this. And... Yeah, and go. 97% chance. Ugh. Knockdown? Think we hit the laser cutter? Yep. Got 12 feet on the guy. <laughs> it is his turn. It is his turn. Oh, come on, man. Really? I guess the Phoenix Sark has to finish him now. Taking a good chunk of damage. Okay. Here we go. We attack you from your weak spot. No. 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 Really? <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Ah, here comes Irby. I'm gonna spin the barrels. I just want him gone. Come on! Ooh. Ooh. That is a punch out. Okay. Is that a lefty guitar or is it my camp backwards? Mm, you tell me. You tell me. Yeah, it's 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 the wrong side here. So it is a right hand guitar, yes. Alright. Uh, by the way, what did the panther do? I didn't see the panther. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is good. Mines have an application now. Like a real one. That is massive. Being able to pin down enemies is huge. The damage doesn't even matter. It's a tactical um, advantage that you get. It's so good, man. Is it a Fender? Uh, no, it's a... It's a Johnson. It's a copy. It is a copy. And I have two more. I have like like an acoustic guitar and there's an, uh, an Ibanez uh, RGR 270DX. These were one of my first guitars and my only guitars in that regard, actually. Um, bought them when I was 17, 18 or so. All right, the PPC is down. It's good. Are you X band live? Yeah. Yep. 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 What is it already? Uh, I had a band when I was like 16 to 21, and um, then I didn't really get into it again. It, it was just a time. I was at school, and then like you know, people, people scrambled. They went to different locations, uh, and it was hard to find way, uh, meetups again to actually. Um, practice and gigs were not a thing that much anymore. So I still have them. Occasionally I play them just for funsies. I'm not really... Guns on target. I wasn't ever a good musician. I am, I think, past Guns beginner strong. level, so like intermediate. Like lower end of my intermediate. But I was having fun. I was having a lot of fun back then. That was great. 
Mm, will this result in stray shots? With a 70% chance to hit? I hope not. It was a stray shot. <laughs> it was. Just suck with style? That's right, man. It's a great attitude. Alright. Drop it down to four. Unsteady. We don't have any follow-up. But as far as I can tell, this guy is just gonna move and not run around, right? One hex. One hex. No mind damage. So he had... Yeah, I had to go careful. That's right. Can we get him? Man, we have this Wolverine on the loot table already. So I don't think I'm particularly interested in that. Ow. Wait, that hurt. Oh crap, I was running over one of my own minds. I'm not particularly interested in the um, Shadowhawk anymore because we got the Wolvie as an option. But I think it still makes sense to caref somewhat carefully take it apart. But um, I'm not going to chance it. You know, I'm not going to try to fiddle around with it. Also, we only have like one more turn before the, the game ends. The mission ends. So... We've got to take him down now in order to get something. Yeah, Christopher, thank you. I just realized. Kill it with fire. I am out of fire. Out of everything. So here we go. All aggressive. Last turn. Um, yeah, I think pinging makes no sense. Very nice. Thought I saw a red number. That was awkward. Okay. In we go. Give me three headshots. Nope. What is it already? My ultra auto cannon is still jammed. That's unfortunate. Guns on target. We needed that to crack open the Shadowhawk somehow. I think my only option right now is uh, getting a back strike with the uh, disco truck. Yeah, I don't think that the front armor is broken enough to get him. Uh, it's debatable. The right side, maybe an ammo explosion on the LRM. Or 40 damage on the back, or 30 on the sides. I think the back strike is our best bet. And then get an ammo crit. I don't think there's any other way. Hmm, <laughs> I could ram him. No. Oh, wait. What? You say there is no back strike? Oh, no. I could go here. Or I could ram him. 83 damage? It doesn't kill. No. Alright. We move here. We're gonna shoot him from the side. Get him, boy! Huh? Got him. Alright. Disco truck OP. Please nerf. Mission Don't. It's good. Ooh, stack pole incoming. No, it was fine. Everything's okay. If everything else fails, harsh language. Yeah. Ah, that's a good party truck. I like that thing. Yeah, I, I don't know if the Shadowhawk is actually pickable. We also have to think about our salvage rights. It wasn't a lot here. Was it? Was it four? Let's take a look. We might be able to get the Hawk. The will be punched out, so that's an option. It just comes down to how many picks we have. Amazing. We're making bank today, guys. The Thorn. Eh. Oh, Wolvie is totally takeable. And it has great hard points. Double ballistic, double energy, four missiles. It has improved communications. What does that mean? We get a plus one to tactics. Endo and Pharaoh already here. Oh, Royal Defensive Gyro Engine there. What? Lots of SRMs that we kind of wanted anyways, right? Got some Meteos. We got Optics Mark 1. 
Gordian ECM? That thing is massive! Alright, what else we got? SLDF is giving us piloting and tactics. It's not bad. UAV. Mm. Double Guardian. Oh, we are in for a treat here, guys. We are in for such a treat. Show me Shadowhawk. Where's Shadowhawk? Is he gone? Like, gone gone? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, he exploded big time. And you know what? That's fantastic. So, we have three additional picks. So, our total of six uh, priority goes down to only four as a result. It's, uh, it's totally worth it. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> All right. Diverse optics are cool for a bit of extra range, but they also generate three more heat. We don't need range right now. It's fine. Don't need that cockpit. This gives us night... Wait, we don't need that. Night vision is not really a, a bottleneck anymore. I'm not opposed to the Guardian. We have three Pharaoh. Uh, 29 heat sinks. What about that? Each are worth 2,000. So... That's value. That's actual value. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, it's not. Um, I don't know. Standard fusion engine. 400,000. I mean, we could take it and sell them. I'm not interested in any of these VTOLs. This is more than 400. Yeah, it's 700. If anything, we take a fusion core. What would you pick? The stack of four mediums? I am not opposed to the PPC either. We could maybe make something happen with that. There's a bit of wing-mounted stuff. Hmm. What's in the thorn? I'd say nothing. Oh, there's endo. But we have four. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Last pick is whatever. I think I'm gonna take another tag because that's universally good. We have one already, but sometimes it doesn't hit and um, tags don't stack. Uh, but if it doesn't hit, we have another instance of tag that we can maybe apply to an enemy or maybe to another enemy. It's just okay. Uh, the cockpit would also be fine. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. We take a full Wolverine. And honestly, I think we just need to click the repair button and we have that thing almost online. The engine is there. The heatsink kit is there. Uh, it has weapons. Um, what else could we look for? And this guy would totally benefit from the direct firing missile control system. That thing is amazing there for short range missiles. It's what we want because we would have no other way of firing those missiles other than directly. It's good. It is good. But it's also getting late, guys. We're going to do the rebuilding in the next episode. Thank you for watching today. I think I'm going to make a cut here. We're going to call it a day. Um, you can uh, look out on the YouTubes for another video coming out today. It's going to be the new DLC video. The first two missions of the Solaris Showdown DLC uh, coming Came up on YouTube my sub. right after the stream. <laughs> I'm going to say thank you to Sargoth. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great rest of the day. Um, we're going to host somebody on Twitch if you're still around for another, for another person that we're going to shove you over. Please stay here. Um... Where to go? Uh, HBFT is... Actually, let's go over here. HBFT is streaming. I like the guy. So, right over there. Uh, on the YouTubes again. Have a great rest of the day. Say hi from the Barra Dudes to HBFT. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.